Hello dear friends, we are back and we're going to pick up with uh, the good captain where he left off. We'd had a very eventful last episode so things got a little bit crazy for the captain. He was uh, fumbling in his pockets and, and accidentally ingested the wrong medicine. But you know, he, he came out okay. We came home, we had a, we had a good sleep. I'm not sure what the long-term ramifications of, of what happened are, but hey, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Captain Aurelio, he knows a thing or two about crossing a bridge, logistically speaking. Okay, so let's take a little look at our goodies last that we got last night. Um, okay, we got some ammo, we got piles of food, so that's really good. That's gonna keep us going. Do we have anything that we can just like eat out of here? Because I'm being a little lazy. Oh, look at these, yeah, peppermint patties for breakfast. No, we're still, um, we're still kind of tired, as you can see. But that's actually not a bad thing when the name of the game is healing. So, I mean, our torso is the only thing that's got bad damage now. So, let's bandage it up. Okay. So, we're going from per to average. We had some ticks left on the healing, but that's fine. And we're going to antiseptic the torso up. Now, did we find some books? Hmm. Bow hunter. That could be good. We're, we're going to start with that, actually. Yeah, so. I take it. It's in here. Yep, we're going to grab that and we're just gonna read for like a little hour we're just gonna we're gonna let him get properly ready to go back to bed you know so we'll just let him get a start and let's say 10 o'clock okay captain it's been a long two hours back to bed good sir to heal up oh look our torso did go up a little tick there okay so he's straight to sleep in his down filled blanket captain cozy 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 captain etc um, it, I mean, this this long sleeping probably will work out pretty... I mean, yeah, look at our torso now. So this is more healing than I thought we were going to make in quite a while. I guess just needing to sleep for this amount of time. I mean, if anything I can say from, from analysis, um, Matt's been really good for Captain Cole's health. Nothing has went wrong and he's feeling great. Okay, so it's dark. It's dark now. Let's get a little fire going. Let's get a little cozy fire going. So yeah, we'll put some long sticks in there. Light that up. Perfect. Now, what do we want to do? I guess some food could be good. Fried eggs. Okay, yeah, I mean, we took the cook. Oh, five fried eggs, man. Are we going to fry them in butter? Well, we have a lot more animal cooking oil. They would be nicer fried in butter, probably, but I'm going to go with the animal cooking oil. That has its advantages, too. Let's eat some eggs. So, we have ten fried Okay, we're just going to eat, like, four fried eggs i guess and how are we on water oh we have we have water for days so i've been playing another save which is in like the data winter and it's really nice to be playing this and not have everything frozen and not have to heat everything up before i do it etc etc let's drop some stuff off I'm, I'm sure we can yeah we'll, we'll come back to reading our book later we'll drop off the soap duct tape battery yeah oh 400 nails okay so i might i might do a little practicing with that today um the work gloves could be good but we'll we'll, we'll not worry too much about all these things for now filter mask that, that's a good find uh, i don't even remember getting most of these things uh, to be honest i feel like the events of the episode you know i got caught up in the captain's fervor and i just i can't really remember what we took either but i'm glad that we're home okay so how do I, I think I can set up, I'm just going to test this. If I go into construction and go to, yeah, so I can make a practice target. Now does this work with it? Yeah, so if I hit shoot, it automatically locks on there. So let's take a look. My handguns are currently, yeah, so zero at the minute. Let's see how much good this does. It could be pointless, I mean. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what that did. Um, and our handguns is, okay, so it's at six. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's not exactly flying out. But it's a viable way, I guess, to get some levels. So I shot 12 nails there, and I got 14 handgun experience. But I mean, my focus is pretty low. But hey, that's a nails are easy to get, right? So that's a, a pretty viable way to to raise my handgun level. I'll leave the nail gun on the counter for now. And wield my good old. Oh no! Don't tell me. What have I done with old faithful? The machete or the butcher knife he's, he's got to be about here i wouldn't have done anything stupid with him right <gasps> oh there he is he's right on the floor it, it, pride of place actually which yes so i forgot it was a little bit damaged but look it, it is what it is there's not much we can do about that we don't need to drink anymore despite it saying that on the right hand side i think it just sometimes has to hit your system before you get the benefits from it do we have any luck picks yeah well, let's for luck we'll attempt to pick this this is something i really want to get good at the lock picks i'm gonna make a few more now if we have the stuff oh we might not actually 
I think we were running kind of low on wire. Yeah, we just have like one piece of wire. That's okay, that's okay. I mean, I could just smash the door down, but it's not really about getting into this. Okay. Look, that's fine. How are we doing on armor, etc.? Not too bad. We do have that heavy chest guard, but I mean, I really don't want to drive our encumbrance up much further because we're so crap at combat that I'm not really sure we'll be doing much of anything if, if we're too encumbered. We'll just be tanking hits, really, and then eventually go down anyway. We could go and check out... No, you know what I want to do? I want to go back to the town. My health's pretty good. Um, the only reason I was going to hang out here was for some downtime. Well, my health recovered, and my health went up quite a bit, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I should have really brought the shopping cart, shouldn't I? That's not too late, I'll go get it. Back we go. We're getting a little bit braver with these auto travels, but I, I never mind at night. I don't think it's quite as worrying. Okay, get your little cart, boy. Um, maybe we'll dump the cart out, will we, actually? That, that would be smart. So, take the filter off. Noish. And, no, I did not mean to do that. There. Okay, so, yeah, I think we should just dump all of it, to be honest. Because we're not going to spend any extensive time out on the town. It's night time, so it's it's just a good time for us to get back to some looting. Get back to getting as much good stuff back here. Because the more we do that, the more that expands what we can do. You know, the, the more resources we have, the, the more freedom we have. So, we're going to shoot on the whole way over with our trusty steed. There's lots of bird poo there. Nice. I mean, it's not going to benefit. Oh, look, lots more bird poo. Nice. They, they all shit in a very consistent place. Like, they all get together. They check their watch and they're like, hey, it's shitting time. Let's go meet the boys. And they all they all stand in a neat little circle and shit. And you can take that and I think refine it for saltpeter if, you're, if your guy knows chemistry, which you can use to make gunpowder. So, man, the bird poo, it, sometimes it comes in useful. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so it's a little dark tonight my visibility is not great is this solar yeah this is still somehow this is still going um it, does it drive no it doesn't drive because the motor's fucked of course but the solar panels are still there so maybe someday we could take them i know you can get solar panels from certain building roofs and stuff too okay i'm walking into this a bit aimlessly this is a small town so really i'm just looking for stragglers i'm looking for anybody that i can easily kill we'll park this here hopefully nobody comes and fucks it up but i'm sure there's there's bound to be more around the place right okay so he's back where he was last night i'm, I'm sure he has some hazy memories of all this what's this little building no don't step into the rose bush is that my blood no i guess not i'm not bleeding so this is just a little house okay doors locked makes sense anything on the roof climb to the east yes captain you're so stealthy sometimes you can get in um like very occasionally. What's that? Oh, it's just like the rain gutter. Peep down. Cool. That's kind of cool. Um, not much use to us though. So climb back down. Yes. None of these windows open. I assume. Oh, I assume incorrectly. You know what they say about assuming. Okay, so we are in. We're just sort of scoping out the situation. The town seems really quiet. To be fair. Lots of leather. Leather's good for whenever we get into tailoring. We can make some better armor or reinforce what we do have or make it fit better or anything really. The, the tailoring system's really open in this game and pretty cool. It can get a little convoluted sometimes, but it's really good. Okay, there's a backpack. We're going to take that straight off the bat. The faux fur duster, I mean, you know, for cold, that would be really, really good. But I think they're quite cumbering and it's probably going to get warm soon i'll take the bandana because i think that provides some um oh friendship bra let's wear a friendship bracelet one for me and one for you dear viewer i hope you'll never take it off okay what do we have in here artificial sweetener i hate that shit but we're gonna take it what's agar agar processed seaweed what sort of a fucking kid what are you doing in here man we'll take the dog food y you don't know how bad things are gonna get you know it's all well and good to say you would never eat dog food, but you might eat dog food. You might even like it. Powdered gelatin. I'll take that. I'll take one copy of Dainty Dishes. So we got quite a few cooking books and stuff there. Um, this is a lot easier to loot now that we have the... I, I want to start taking gallon jugs. Uh, I could empty those out for space, but I'll keep them right now in case we need any of those at any point. Oh, there's a zucchini. Let's just straight up eat a zucchini. 
59 calories of zucchini. Mmm. So batteries are always good. I'll take a permanent marker because I, I like to draw on things. I'm not going to lie. There's exacto knife. I'm going to grab that just in case I don't have one because I knew I know I've struggled before with recipes that required like fine cutting or whatever. Okay, yep. Oh yeah, take all this. I mean, I, I'm not sure how much I need to be stocking up on the food here because we're getting plenty. Reading light, that's pretty good. I think it's very low battery use so you can read it for ages. We like that. We appreciate that. A silver hairpin. Why not? Let's put it on. Let's put it on. The captain's got a bit of a bit of flair now. Okay, a little save. So this door is locked. Uh, I don't really want to go smashing it down or anything right now, so I'm okay with that. Another gallon jug. Take the. I'm gonna eat a vitamin right now for my health. A multivitamin, actually. They're they're big decking all over the gummy vitamins, right? They got multivitamins. You've only got gummy vitamins. You fool. Okay, let's let's say. Uh... I think we've yeah we've we've been in here. I mean I know I'm probably missing stuff, but. I think we've got our pick at the minute, you know, we can... I'm gonna take the fur hat. I'm gonna take that leather jacket, man. Any any leather. I'll take the pair of heels, too. I know I'm being very inconsistent in what I'm taking here, but... That's how it works. I see something, and I think, yeah, I'll put that in my bag. I'll take that. I'll steal that. I'll take that. I, I don't think it's stealing. I don't think anybody's gonna come looking for it. But you know what? Even if they did, I wouldn't give a shit, man. Take it back. See what happens. Don't fuck with the captain. Okay, let's get these gallon jugs all dumped in. Just super handy for storage and stuff if... If it ever needs to get to that, um, bear with me. I think the background audio might be getting a little crazy here. Let's mute that or turn it down a little. Sorry, guys. You know, this is what it's like in the development studio. You're, you're seeing it live. Um, okay, so we'll drop all those gallon jugs in. We will just drop all this food, really. We could keep the dog food on us in case we, we want any little treats on the way. Agar detergent. Uh, it's interesting that's under chemical stuff. It was like seaweed flakes. I assumed it was food, but what do I know? Throw all the clothes in. Okay, yeah, our volume's really low, so we're doing pretty good at the minute. Uh, are, do, dare we come in here? I mean, I didn't hear much noise, right? I, d I didn't hear anything crazy going on, so... Okay, of course the doors are locked. I could smash them, but it might risk setting an alarm off. That back door looks like it's already been done in a bit. But why did nobody come out if the back door's smashed? Okay, yeah, there's, there's some shit going on. That makes sense, though. Because they would have broken through the back door, surely. The zombie... Gra Where the fuck is the zombie? In the bin, I guess? Oh! Sneaky little bin zombie, man! You see that shit? Motherfucker hid in the bin. I, I respect that, to be honest. Oh, shit. We have our backpack on, don't we? Let's let's back up a little. No point getting all that nice um, storage... Or all that nice torso health back and then fucking it up by being lazy. So, drop the backpack and walk, and just for good measure, wait here until you catch your breath. Yes, stop catching your breath, and you know what to do, Captain Ashtaba. Okay, perfect. So, that was just a pulp corpse, I'm assuming she'd already been killed. Yes, this little fucker too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, the Captain's getting fairly decent at combat. I know that these are just normal zombies, and, and they don't pose that much of a threat anyway, but... I mean, our, our strength isn't horrendous. We could apply that to bashing weapons quite well, but at the minute, I think the, the most damage we're going to be doing is with this little machete. We've really been relying on the bleed damage. So we'll take a look through the bin, surely. Am I just going to crawl through this bin? I, I guess so. This is like super fucking stupid, though. Okay, we're in. I wouldn't recommend... I mean, that wasn't a smart thing to do, you know. Okay, this was smashed. I'm a little worried about coming in here. Tactical helmet. I'll probably come back and get that whenever I can fix it up. Okay, we're moving our way. A large tactical backpack. Fuck yeah. Which of these is better? Mole assault pack? Okay, so the tactical backpack holds a lot more, but I'm assuming that this is much less encumbrance. So we'll take the backpack for looting purposes and put the assault pack in it. Shit, that door's locked. Okay, so both of the ways into what looks to be the main storage room are locked. I could bash that down. I mean, I think we've cleared a lot of the zombies from around. Oh, what does he hear in there? I'm going to, like smash the wall i'll just hit the wall and see if i can hear any activity in there no i mean i i can see footprints occasionally but i think that's just some little idiosyncrasy where where the game thinks that it's me and it's not oh so we got some mres up here that's going in the backpack certainly uh, and a gallon jug of cheap wine somebody's been fucking partying up here man just rinsing mres and eating cheap wine eating cheap wine drinking cheap wine well you can eat it if you want no, um, I'm not really sure how the grid stuff works yet. Seems very cool though. What's this? A satellite dish. 
So it seems like you can power buildings now. Um, I, I don't know anything about that, but I can see how cool that would be. And I, I'd say it would sort of take away from that meta of only having bases that are mobile. I never really fed into that, though, to be honest. Like, I, ne I never really cared about the being the most efficient or... I'm going to take modern rifle. I, I, I'm not sure if we have that. We probably do, but... Okay, there's magazines. Um, yeah, I mean, I like magazines. They're not too heavy. Casings, shit like that. Maybe we're just going to do... Maybe we're going to take a pipe and smash the door down. Fuck it. We can run if we have to. I think we've done most of the groundwork. On clearing the place out, I mean. Okay, so this is a shooting range. Okay. So it's just going to be casings and shit? Hmm. I kind of like that. It's good. I, I mean, it's not much benefit to me, but I like it because it's cool. It's a nice little room. Yeah, we'll take some cashews. I love cashews. I am. Before I started recording, I just spilled pistachios all over the floor when I was going to put my headset on. So that's a problem I'm going to have to deal with. But my commitment to the cause, dear viewer, I would never immediately rectify that. Are these all open? Yeah, these are all open. What the fuck, man? This was a pretty shitty gun store, to be honest. This was not... I mean, it's it's a little shitty town, I guess. So we'll, we'll excuse it as... So what's that? An open gun safe. Man, this... I guess it's already been raided, is, is all I can assume. But that's okay. That's okay. Look, we're, we, we can't get greedy here. We'll keep our little pipe for now. And we'll drop... Yeah. Some of our stuff off. The assault pack. We'll drop the book. We'll get down to a nice under 10 volume. Not that it really matters. I mean, we've got so much space at the minute. I'll just dump the big things in. Let's keep looking. So we've been down this end of the town, right? We're really clearing the place out. I mean, we could look around moving down here, to be honest. I see no reason that we have to stay in the cabin. As much as I like the cabin and as cozy as I think it would be, the captain could take over a whole goddamn town. What's the town called? Lexington. The captain of Lexington. I like it. We could we could repurpose it, you know? We could make it into a boating hub. We could build a massive boat. Oh, I like the sound of that. Captain Cole is going to build the biggest fucking boat you've ever seen. And he's going to sail it away to greener pastures. Boom. Okay. So I did, I hit him with the pipe. It was a critical hit. It hit for as much as my machete is. But it was a critical hit, so I'm not going to get that every time. I mean, what are the... This could be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and get my bashing up to level 2 anyway. Oh shit, I should really drop my hiking backpack. Of course it was the torso that they got me. Okay, it's not a hiking backpack. The ongoing joke of me labeling bags the incorrect name. It's not a joke though. I mean, I'm not doing it intentionally. I'm just stupid. Okay, so we're... Hmm. Are we going to commit to the pipe? I was getting a bit fucked up there, but my encumbrance was bad. Okay, yeah, we're committing to the pipe. Let's let's get a little zoom in. Da, 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 da. Enter the room, challenger. Okay, we got him a little whack for 12. So yeah, the, the, the damage I put is considerably less with the bashing than it is with the... Or with the pipe than it is. Oh, I saw a tip um, to take the smartphones for their batteries. So thank you for the tip. Uh, folding knife. I feel like that could be good. We could take a little folding knife. And we'll wear our backpack. Do we have any more bandages? No, but we could like... That's too dark to rip anything up, isn't it? Okay, so we'll drop this and just apply the pressure to the wound for now. I'm not too worried, really. Um, I'm gonna drop... No, I'll keep the pipe. The pipe's good for entry, like if I need to bash a door down or something. Because I don't feel comfortable using my knife to do that. We really need a new knife. Cast iron frying pans. Okay, we'll take all the gallon jugs. We really want just... We want to be able to go and fill them up. Have piles of water. Not have to worry about it so much. I'm not sure why I'm taking the washing soda and stuff. I just am. Um, we'll take the batteries. Batteries are great. I'm pretty sure we have a hammer. Take a flashlight. Take a candle. Candles are fantastic as well. Candles are something I didn't really use too much when I started playing. And then when I find out how easy they were to make, uh, it's like, okay, I can see a lot of use for these. I use the candles for, for more often than I use, like, electric for reading and stuff. Let's eat some cereal. Let's have some cereal. Okay, we're rocking around 2,000 calories for the day, which is not terrible. <gasps> a camera. Yeah, let's get a camera. Captain call it, like, a track touring suit. What's that? Oh, so it's like a leather, like a motorcyclist's bodysuit for high impact areas. I mean, that, that sounds really fucking good, to be honest. The encumbrance is 
not awful, it seems, so we'll take that. We'll do a good analysis of all of our armor and we'll build like a superhero suit. Oh, we'll take the hacksaw. Super handy. I'm not sure if we already have one. Take the tablet because, you know, why not? Take the laptop too. I mean, they're dead, but I'm sure we'll be able to find batteries for them. They can just be good components too. Okay, so I think we've pretty much cleared this. There's no... Oh, yeah. Can I get in here to the other building? No. Duffel bag, pet pack. Is that, can I put a pet in that? Okay, so I'm taking that because that sounds, oh, where's the little dog? Can we go and rescue him? You remember the dog from, that, that helped me in the earlier episode? I'll have to take a look and see if he's still there and if he is, jam him in the pet pack. I, I guess they might not be too happy about that though, but we can just lock him up until he loves us. No problems. Okay, we're gonna have to smash our way in. I don't think it's such a problem. Trap and field, I think, I think we need that. I think that's, I don't think we've read that or don't have the skills. Self-esteem for dummies, we'll take it. We're dummy and we need some self-esteem. Pair of hard leg guards, so we have the, the, I think we have like hard chest armor too. We'll take the leather gloves. Okay, so there's some shit going on. We're going to drop the pipe. Will the, oh shit, it's not. It's a cleaver, man. K, K for cleaver, of course. And we're going to drop our little, Tactical backpack. Oh shit. So a SWAT zombie. Oh fuck. And he's grabbed me. This is really not good. So let's see. Can we like even hurt him? Okay. So that was, that was it. It was a crit admittedly, but it hit him for 10. So he's stunned and he's bleeding. I'm going to try again. I'm going to be cheeky. Oh shit. He hit me. Hit him again. Come on. Hit him one more time. One more time. Okay. We're fucking out. This is bad. This is bad. Our stamina is not too bad though. So I mean, we can outpace the fucker. Get him through the window maybe. Yeah, so he came in the window, hit him for two. This is really bad. We're, we're, we're not really affecting this guy. He's grabbed us again, so run, break it, and walk. We're doing fi I think that we can outpace him anyway. Okay, we cut him for 15. We, we've got some damage, but it's really not that bad. I think he's coming out a lot worse here. So let's just let him bleed out a bit, because the captain's not feeling too confident. We'll drop our meat cleaver, apply some pressure, but put safe mode on. So if he comes within our range, we can stop. Okay. You're doing good, Captain. You didn't take much damage there at all. Yes, nice. Sorry, that was a bit loud. <laughs> I'm just getting enthusiastic, okay? It's exciting. I like it when the Captain does well, when the Captain succeeds. All right, Captain. Let's not get cocky. Let's break the grab. It's very important, I think, to break the grabs rather than just trying to stab through it. Oh, shit. We're not landing now. But it's okay. We're He's kind of, like, staggering his damage nicely. He's not, like, loading it up in one place. So we can do that if he was just, like, hitting our torso. Shit, man. This is bad. Well, it's, it's not really. It's just worse than it needs to be. Come on. Come on. Kill him, you fucker. I'm getting a little sloppy now. Run. Okay, this is bad. The pain is starting to become a problem. So walk. Get the car. Okay, shit. This is really not good. Okay. What are we going to do? Are we going to try and kill him? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Uh, we've just... I mean, we've just got to kill him. We can't run down our stamina anymore. So... Okay, yes, we hit him for one. As soon as he grabs us, it's fucking game over, it seems. So we break and stab. Come on, please put this fucker down. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. I know this doesn't look too bad now, health-wise, but as soon as our stamina turns, I should have really broke this combat up to try and get my breath back. Okay, we hit him for 18. We really needed that. So it's us against him. I think we're going to win. We have enough stamina to swing a few more and take a few more before he really starts to fuck us up. But this was too close. Okay, this is bad. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Captain. Maybe later, actually. Yeah, let's catch our breath first before anything. I'm just like hitting every wrong button right now, panicking. Smash his body. Okay. So we got like a gun. I guess it, it shoots pistol ammo, but I think it's better than a pistol. I think it's like a semi automatic I don't know what the term is, but like a... It shoots pistol ammo, but I think it's somewhat of like a semi or something. Um, okay. Oh man, I'm like, my, my heart is pumping from that. I'm taking the SWAT badge and we're going to wear it. We're going to be captain of the SWAT team. Okay. Let's let's like drag his body back towards the house. That was super fucking close. I know it didn't look like that. Like my the damage I, take, I took wasn't like crazy. But as soon as my stamina goes and I can't run and I can't swing and I'm whiffing all my shots, like that's when things get really hairy really quickly. So I'm glad that that worked out. Yeah, let's take his gun. 
let's take his stun gun. We'll take, oh, I feel like the ballistic vest could be amazing. I know it says some of the plates are compromised, but I'd rather have a compromised ceramic plate in a ballistic vest than have like a shitty leather jacket that's not going to stop anything. So that's fair. Take the combat boots. I'm not sure if they're really beneficial, but they sound cool. I think we have a riot helmet, which is why I'm not taking that. And the badge, yes, of course, because we're going to sign up. We're going to join. So we're in unmanageable pain. Do we have any aspirin on us? Yeah, we do. We have piles of aspirin. I think that's enough of an excursion into the time, to be honest. And where are we sitting? Oh my god, 25 minutes. I don't know where the fuck that time went. So yeah we're gonna get back and we're gonna wrap it up that's a productive day i mean we can say we've we've cleaned this city out pretty well man yeah like it's not a city it's like a little shitty town to be fair but it's feeling a lot cleaner than when we started it feels like we have more room to operate within it and that's I, i'm starting to think maybe we could move in here which would be the pick of the building potentially the gun store because it has that secured room at the back i'm pretty sure that there's no windows or no way in there uh, zombies can knock those down but I don't think anybody's going to be coming and doing that. So we could operate out of Lexington from this point on. Uh, still haven't seen the sea. Still haven't seen any ocean. That's when the plans are really going to begin to form, right? That's that's when that's when Captain Cole really starts to see how the future could look. And it's going to look boat, boatly. Boatly is not a word, but you know what I mean, dear viewer. He's going to be boating like a motherfucker. Now we need to. We still need to worry a little here because there's those boars. And I don't have any way of seeing them right now. And they're like hostile as fuck. Like they will, they, they seem to aggro from so much further away than anything else. Like they just zone in on you. I just kind of want to get past the, the point where I've seen them before. And then I'll fast travel the rest of the way. So we're moving very slowly because we got a bit fucked up in that fight. That was a close fight. That was the, the closest one yet. You could really see how at the start I was landing my shots quite well. But the more tired and injured I got the less i could land and when i did land i wasn't hitting as much so it's not a key you know you're, you're getting worse with every hit that you take you're outputting damage a little bit less every time which is why it's so important i mean it's really nice that we didn't take too much damage there in terms of our overall health like we bled a little bit and we got hit a little bit our clothes probably got damaged a little bit but we didn't take really bad permanent damage there to be honest it was it was pure luck that that really could have went the other way and i thought for a minute that the captain i thought that that's how it was going to end for the captain and it wouldn't have been very you know that was it would have been a very unceremonious ending i think that he deserves better than that so i'm so happy to be wheeling the cart back with some lessons learned let it be said uh, we're not going to play that fast and loose in future it's it's a bit scary being out at night and not being able to see anything but it is what it is so let's dump everything out into our pile, just our dirt pile on the floor. You know what, before I jump off, let's let's take a look. So this is our zone manager. We've got a space for food and drink. So let's add perishable drink in the same place. And we're going to add perishable food in the same place. Now we've got spare ports, other tools. I mean, there's, there's stuff that we're gonna miss here, right? But that's fine with me. So we're gonna shift O and we're going to sort out my loot all so you can see in the right there, it's it's going through all the things. He's moving them into their into a sensible place, wherever I've told him to put these things. So what's left? So books, we need the seeds, uh, clothes. You can tell from the pile what's left over what we need to then sort. So that's fine. It's a lot of clothes, bits of food, like kind of kind of odd items. So I feel like we do have the majority of stuff sorted fairly well. So that's a little cleaner looking for the captain. We'll move all this stuff into the pile. Nice. Um, so we're in distracting pain. That's okay. We'll, we'll pop one more aspirin. We're not tired. I guess we slept all day. So I think the captain's probably going to have a little read. What are we going to read? We'll, we'll, we'll read some more of our bow hunting book. And I think we're going to need a chair for over here. So let's go the long way around because I think it's maybe the path of least resistance. So just grabbing and pushing the chair. And right here. So this is be our little operation station. Any nice food to cook up? Get a nice... Uh, let's have a toad in a hole. Bird egg, a cracker, and some animal oil. Yes, we're going to have toad in a hole. We're going to eat our toad in a hole. Um, oh, he loves that. He, he, he's having a great time with the toad in a hole. And we're going to have maybe some alcohol. No, we'll have some pineapple juice, right? He's going to take it easy tonight. He was a, a bad a bad fella last night. He was on his worst behavior, so we'll stick to the pineapple juice tonight. 
we're just going to read until our dear friend starts to feel like he could uh, have a little snooze. Oh, well, there's the fire out. You know what? That's as good a time as any, I would say. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I think next time I'll probably just pick up from when he's, you know, tired and slept. I'll see how that works. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a great one. It flew in. I'm pretty happy that the town is as clear as it is. I'm pretty happy that we've healed up. I mean, that's that's really putting us back to like the, nearly the health we were at in day one. Except we're more powerful now. Buh, 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 buh. See that speed? See this parkour? He doesn't actually know parkour, but did you see how quickly he rolled across that counter in the table? Look at this. You couldn't do that. I could probably do it, but you couldn't do it. Thanks very much, dear viewer. I'll see you again.